And turning now to the Biden presidency, President Joe Biden met again with lawmakers at the White House to push for his more than $2 trillion infrastructure proposal. The vice president is also hitting the road to rally for the plan. CBS4's Natalie Brand has the latest from the White House. For the second time in as many weeks, President Biden has invited a bipartisan group of lawmakers to the Oval Office to talk infrastructure. Hopefully we'll be able to reach some kind of consensus, at least in broad terms. This time, the focus is on members of Congress who formerly served as mayors or governors. They know what it's like to make things work to make sure that uh, you uh, get things done. Vice President Kamala Harris is pushing for the plan in North Carolina, speaking at a technical community college. It will not only create good jobs, it will have a big impact, impact on communities. The vice president also argued the plan would create the jobs of the future, a point she emphasized by touring a plant that manufactures electric school buses. The president's plan has received Republican pushback in Congress over its size and scope and his proposed corporate tax rate increase to pay for it. But some Republicans are signaling they're open to negotiating. There is a core infrastructure bill that we could pass with appropriate pay-fors like uh, roads and bridges and even reaching out to broadband. A group of Senate Republicans say they're working to put forward an alternative proposal at a price tag of around one-third the size of the president's plan. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. Today, the White House press secretary said President Biden is open to lawmakers peeling off parts of his proposal in smaller infrastructure bills. Tomorrow, the Senate will hold its first committee hearing on the president's infrastructure plan with the four cabinet secretaries scheduled to testify.